My path in music was kind of found slowly but surely. Um, and for me, it was just kind of more like, you know, I was working a job and I was feeling really frustrated at the amount of time that it was taking me to get to where I wanted to go. And for me, I found that uh, just kind of accepting where I was at in the journey was the best advice that I could give myself. And looking back in retrospect, I, I can see now how all of those moments of, of that journey to where I'm at now were so vital and so important for me to be able to be doing what I'm doing now with my music and with Excellent and with Parker. For us, it was just kind of allowing yourself to kind of to learn and to explore new things. So I guess like looking back on it, you know, I was uh, really, really hard on myself as far as like worried about the age that I was, as far as like being able to be like a producer or DJ is what I initially wanted to do. And looking back on it now, I feel like uh, what I'm doing now actually really fits in my personality more so, you know, to having a YouTube channel, right? Um, you know, especially with, with Parker, like we're both like very entertaining, energetic people. That's a part of my personality. Um, teaching people, I've always liked really teaching people. I've always liked knowing how magic tricks are done and then telling people how to do them. That was like a thing that I did Just when I was like, the secret. yeah, like I would always ruin the secret. So like for me, it was always really cool to understand that. You know, sound design was something that was really, really, I was really passionate about, understanding how to make your own sound. Now, looking back at it, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm doing all of these things. And not even to mention, too, the jobs that we were working. We were working at Guitar Center. All of these factors come into play now and are running our own business and, and trying to make a name for ourselves. Yeah. All those things that we learned. And I think if I could like go on a time machine, I would like go back and tell myself to be a lot nicer to myself as far as like, hey, like you're, you're on your path right now and you're gonna get to it eventually as long as you don't, as long as you just keep at it and you just don't stop no matter what, you will achieve your goal. That's it. That's like as simple as it is. I was gonna say like the process of learning like yeah. who you are and what you want to be doing is extremely important. Like even if you feel like you're not moving, you're learning all these new skills. Yeah. Um, and whenever you become successful, like all of that, you have all of this stuff in your arsenal that you use for, you know, your releases or just your career. Yeah, it will materialize.